pretty and intense. What is my finger doing? I have like a claw finger for no reason. It's a really beauty, beauty. It's a really beauty. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I was feeling some monochromatic makeup this week. I did very similar looks to this several times this week and just loved it. Have some fun new things from ColourPop I've really been enjoying. Tried some things from Octoly again this week and I've got some things I was loving. So let's get to the favorites. So I think that all of my ColourPop favorites this week are from the pink collection, which is so fun, so bright, just pink and monochromatic and they also have a like a peachy sort of a set I think it's the nectar collection and then they have like a very neutral sort of a set and I think that one's the sand collection so the pink one's what I've been loving so this is the eyeshadow palette this is the ColourPop pressed powder palette and this is in Belle of the Ball that's the outside sleeve and then this is what the actual palette looks like so this comes with Secrets which is a matte, Soft Core which is a matte Fair Play, which is a matte, and On the Fence, which is a metallic. So I do have all four of these on my eyes today. So the first time that I tried out the press shadows from ColourPop were from the Amanda Steele palette. And I mentioned to you guys that I, when I like tried that out and mentioned it in a Friday Favorites, that I liked how those blended and they really were nice to work with, but I did notice some fading with those. I did not notice any fading whatsoever with these. So these were really nice. The wear time was really good on them. And I believe that one of you guys commented on that video and said that they had improved on their um, press shadow formula. And I definitely think that they did because these are really nice really pigmented, they blend really well, and they've worn really well. This one is actually kind of like a surprise standout for me from the palette because on the eyes it almost looks like a little bit neon-y and kind of like um, melony or something like that. Just really, really fun. So yeah, just a really beautiful, fun, bright palette. I love this. I remember when I first saw pictures of this, I was interested in getting it, but I was holding off for a little bit. So I eventually caved and I got it and I really, really love it. And then really, I'd say the star of the show for this eye look is this right here. Oh my goodness. This is another thing that I was like really trying not to get because I believe that these are limited edition and I really don't get a ton of limited edition stuff anymore. So I was trying not to get it, but I just couldn't resist because I love these and this one is amazing and I'm so glad I got it. This is one of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow and this is in Sunset Cove. Even the little top is cute that it looks like little like mermaid scales or whatever. So cute. So this is what I have on the inner corners of my eyes, um, on the inner part of my lid. Oh my goodness. I love these. I love the regular ones. These, um, now I don't know about the other two, the limited edition ones, because I don't have those. This is the only one of the limited edition three that I have, but this one is less glittery like the regular line is, and this one is more like metallic-y, duochrome -y, like really duochrome -y. So it's less, I mean, it is glittery. It definitely looks glittery on my eyes, but it just seems to have more of that like metallic duochrome flash to it than the other ones. It is absolutely incredible. It's like a pink, gold, slightly turquoisey sort of a duochrome. Amazing. It wears amazingly well. It doesn't get everywhere. It's easy to work with. These are incredible. If you haven't tried any of these, they are amazing. The hype is real. They're awesome. And limited edition ones are really pretty too. This one's it's good. I'm so glad I got it. For cheeks this week, I have one blush and I have three different highlighters that I was really enjoying. So first off for the blush, this is also from the um, pink collection from ColourPop. This is in Done Deal. Let me see what it says it is. It's a pressed powder blush and pressed powder highlighter. So it comes with Above and Beyond the pressed powder blush and Made Me Do It the pressed powder highlighter. So I do have both of these on today, but then I have something else under the highlighter that I'm about to tell you about. So first off, this blush. This is a beautiful, bright matte pink. Like it is just a fun time. It's very springy. This highlighter is kind of like a, um, this is a little bit like less, I mean, it's still pretty wabam, but not as much as what I have under it that 
I'll show you in just a second. So this is just, it's, it's still intense, but not quite as intense as some other highlighters. I, well, nah, maybe I'm making that up. It's more peachy. I think that's what really kind of makes it seem less like wha-bam. It has a little bit more of like a peachy, champagne-y sort of a glow, which I think is like a little bit easier to pull off. And if you really kind of blend it out, it really can look more kind of like everyday and not so wow in your face highlighter. But I mean, look at that blush. That is so bright and fun. That's a good time. Love this duo. These blend really well. They wear really well. Super impressed with this stuff. Like it tempts me to look at the Nectar and the Sand collection, but I really don't need to do that. And I'm going to try hard not to. But anyway, this one, I'm so glad I got this duo. It's beautiful. And for what I have under that powder highlighter is this. This is the Super Shock Cheek. This is in Forget Me Not. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. This is amazing. It is so bright and so ridiculous and intense and I absolutely love it. Like it's a just like mid-tone, um, not crazy light, like more of a mid-tone sort of a pink, but it's like really intense and metallic. Oh my goodness. And it like layers really well under other things. It just kicks it up a notch. These, I found that these do fade a little bit by themselves on me and my kind of combo oily skin, but layered under things, oh my goodness. They just like kick up anything that you layer over it, kicks it up a notch. They wear really well together. It's just like, this kind of helps like give the powder something to adhere to. And then the powder gives this like, it like locks it in. You know what I mean? So they're like, they just work really well together. So. This is so pretty and intense. What is my finger doing? I have like a claw finger for no reason. Who knows? Yeah. If you've watched my Get Ready With Me's, I, I do claw hands sometimes when I'm, usually it's my left hand, like my left hand's in a claw while I'm brushing my teeth or doing my eyeshadow, just a claw hand. Sometimes apparently I have a claw finger too. Tangent. And another highlighter that I wore this week that I was trying out, I got this for free through Octoly to try out. This is from 100% Pure. This is the Gemmed Luminizer and this is in Moonstone Glow. Now I applied to try this because I was super impressed with the other things that I've tried from 100% Pure that they also sent me through Octoly. So I was really excited when I got approved for this because it was sold out the first time I tried to apply for it. So it seems like it's like a popular item. So it came back in and I reapplied for it and it was in stock. So that was exciting and they approved me. So they have really, really pretty packaging. It's just like so girly and I love the like pinky metallic sheen to it. That's amazing. So let me see if it says about this. Let's see, because I think that this is um, made from, yes, okay, here it is. Does it say that? Let me see if it says it. It says 100% pure gemmed luminizer reveals glowing and luminous skin with light reflecting gemstones. So this is actually made of like crushed gemstones, which is so cool, because it's 100% cruelty free, 100% vegan, free of a thousand plus toxins, 100% um, natural, all that. And then it says colored from antioxidant rich fruit pigments rather than harmful synthetic dyes. So, so cool. It's just really, really pure. 100% pure matches it. And I am really impressed with how good this is. Like for this being 100% natural, this really does have some glow and like a metallic sheen to it. I just, I mean, I really kind of wondered how this would be. That's why I was really curious to try it. This is good. Like, look at that. How metallic it is. That's beautiful. I am so impressed with this. So I wore this a couple days this week. Now you can definitely like sheer it out and make it like lighter and not quite so intense. Let me try to see if I can show you that. Like just a light application of it. There it is kind of above. So. You can definitely go like lighter with it, but then, I mean, that's what, that I like that metallic, like intense highlighter. So you can definitely build it up to that point. So super impressed with this, beautiful packaging, really nice product. Love that it is all natural and not made with like junky, bad, chemically things. 
it's just good. I also applied and was approved for this lipstick to try out. This is the 100% pure fruit pigmented pomegranate oil anti-aging lipstick. 100% natural, 100% vegan, really cute outside packaging. Now I did have a heck of a time getting the actual lipstick to come out of this little container. So it's adorable, but man, this lipstick was like stuck in there. So that's just a little side note, doesn't matter, but that was just, it was a funny experience. And I'm like, what in the world? Like I couldn't get it out of there. So it says anti-aging, super moisturizing lipstick concentrated with pomegranate oil, shea butter, and colored from fruit pigments to keep lips super soft and youthful. Antioxidant and vitamin packed, truly 100% pure. No synthetic chemicals, synthetic dyes, chemical preservatives, or any other toxins. So, so cool. The packaging itself is really, really pretty again. Now I wore this on a day where I had, I did just winged liner, a really sparkly color on my lid, and a little bit of bronzer in my crease. So I had a really simple eye look, but a more kind of like intense winged liner. And then this, it was so pretty. It was just a really like light, beautiful makeup look, but very kind of like classic and pinup. This is in the color Primrose. This is so pretty. And their lipsticks, they smell good. They smell fruity to me. Like not like straight up fruit, but like, I don't know how to describe it, but they do have a little bit of like a fruity scent. I wouldn't say that this smells quite as fruity um, as the matte one that I tried out, but it still does have that kind of like a fruity scent. But look how pretty that is. It's a really beauty, beauty. It's a really beauty. It's a really beautiful, like, melony, strawberry, slightly red kind of color. It's so pretty, really intense, really nice and creamy. This is so hydrating. Like, I want to get this in a really easy, everyday, kind of, like, neutral pinky color that I could just, like, have live in my purse because it's one of those lipsticks that feels like a lip treatment but then it looks really beautiful on the lips, too. Very, very hydrating and comfortable, but really pretty and pigmented. So yeah. Now I was a little concerned with this like moving around because it is so creamy and like comfortable and pigmented and it's just a cream finish. And typically I go for more like mattes in this kind of a color. But I mean, I applied for this color because I wanted to try this one and it is really, really pretty. I really didn't specifically notice, oh, my uh, mascara is bleeding, I do notice that. But I didn't notice my lipstick bleeding, um, which was good, but I didn't apply like a super duper lot of layers. So I would say probably safer to use this with a lip liner just because it is creamy, especially with a brighter color, um, but so comfortable, so comfortable and really pretty packaging. And again, natural. I was also feeling some pink lipstick this week. So first off this one, this is the Too Faced La Creme lipstick. This is in Clueless. This is so pretty. This is almost like, I don't know, especially when you kind of like sheer it out, it's almost like the lipstick version of that Stila glitter shadow. Like it just has kind of like a, I mean, it's way more pink than that, but it kind of has that like duochrome golden shift to it. And then it has a little bit of like glitter behind it. But this is very like intense and 80s sort of looking lip color, but I love it. It is just happy and fun and a good time. Let's put it over what I'm wearing right now. I bet you can't hear me. You can't understand that. I bet it'll be fun. Yeah, see? Oh my gosh, it's just fun. Like it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's very 80s. You have to be like going for this. Look at this, uh, this mascara. What the poo? Most mascaras run, run under my eyes. I'm wearing my little pixie one. But so does this eye. Okay, this is gonna be a tangent for a second. Are y'all like this? Cause my mom is like this. We're both like this. We have one eye that just randomly waters. Just one, and mine is my left, I, I'm pretty sure hers is her right eye. Cause my right eye doesn't do that. It's just my left and it'll just run. So a lot of times my lower lash line mascara will run right along with it. So anyway, tangent, back to this lipstick. This is like so 80s and you know, metallic-y and 
out there and kind of different and fun, but I love it. It's just happy. It's a good time sort of a lipstick. And then lastly, the lipstick that I was wearing before I applied that last one over it is this one right here. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. This is in Primrose. I haven't worn one of these in a really long time, but these are so good. They're just like classic great lipsticks and Primrose is just a beautiful, it's kind of neutrally sort of a pink, but I would say it's kind of more of like a subtle, slightly subdued sort of a pink. Now, right now I am wearing it with Jordana's Baby Berry, which does give it a little bit more color to it, a little bit more dimension. Um, obviously I have that other one on top of it now, but it was looking a little bit darker, you know, before I put that on it, it was looking darker and that was because of the lip liner. As you see it in the swatch, like that's what it looks like by itself. So it's really kind of more of a subdued sort of a pink, but really sweet and girly still. Just beautiful, has like a little bit of like a sheen to it, just a little bit of like a creamy um, shine to it. Really beautiful, really comfortable. I have several of these and I really need to show them more love because they're classic great lipsticks. And these have been around for a long time time and the packaging has looked the same for a long time but the, and i think this color has been around for a long time too but i see why because it's a classic beautiful pink all right guys so those are all my favorites for this week so i hope that you really enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have i'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in the next video